Uh, welcome to yet another video of the penism and the concept that we are discussing today is uh, color blindness. Now color blindness is an excellent disorder. So basically it occurs due to the recessive gene located on the non-homologous region of X chromosome and due to the recessive gene the cone cells becomes defective. The cone cells which are present in the retina they become defective and the person is unable to distinguish between red and green color and so the colors appears as gray. A particular chart is used known as Ishihara chart in order to identify whether the person has this defect or not. But now we are understanding the pattern. Uh, if the parents have the particular disorder, what will be the percentage of the children having that particular risk of color blindness? To represent, if a normal male is there, then the gene will be the dominant gene. So it will be represented as X capital C, Y. If it's a normal female, both the genes will be capital C, capital C. If the organism is color blind, then here it will be X small c, Y. And for females, it will be double dose of the recessive genes. But if in a female, one gene is dominant and one gene is recessive, then such females are known as carrier. That is, they have normal vision, but they have the recessive gene present, which can be transmitted to the next generation. The carrier condition is not possible in males because the alleles are not present on the Y chromosome non-homologous region. We are considering two different cases. In the first case, we are taking father as colorblind and mother as normal. So the representation will be X small c, Y and for the normal mother it will be X capital C, it's capital C. This is like a typical monohybrid cross, it will form the gametes X small c. The other gamut will be with Y chromosome. Similarly here, there will be X capital C, X capital C. The fusion technique will be first with third. So here the representation will be X capital C, X small c. First with fourth, X capital C, X small c. Second with third, X capital C, Y. And second with fourth, X capital C, Y. So these two are definitely daughters. These two are sons. But the, uh, both the daughters, they have one recessive gene and one dominant genes. Hence, these are carrier daughters. Whereas the sons have dominant genes, so they are normal sons. So, when the disorder is present in the father, it is transmitted to the daughters, but the daughters have normal vision because of the dominant gene received from the mother. In case, in future, this carrier daughter, they marry to a normal person, normal father, and their representation pattern will be X capital C Y, Carrier mother will be X capital C, X small c. The gametes formed will be X capital C, Y, X capital C, X small c. So in this case, the offsprings will receive the chromosomes in this pattern, X capital C, X capital C, X capital C, X small c, X capital C, Y, and X small c, Y. So this daughter, has both dominant genes, that is why this is normal daughter. Here, this daughter has one recessive gene, one dominant, hence this is a carrier daughter with a normal vision. This is a normal son with a dominant gene, whereas one son has the defect of color blindness. So one son is color blind. So what has happened is from the mother, the gene has been transmitted to the son and the son suffers from color blindness. So if in the entrance question it is asked that how many percentage of children suffer from color blindness? It is 1 out of 4 that is 25 percent of children. But if the question is twisted and it is asked how many percentage of sons suffer from color blindness then the answer will be 50 percent because it is 1 out of 2 sons. Now to understand this entire chart case 1 and case 2 what has happened is from the father the gene has been transmitted to the daughter. So from the father, the gene has been transmitted to the daughter. And this daughter, when it becomes the mother, the gene is transmitted to the son. So from the daughter, it has been transmitted to the son. So ultimately, we conclude that the father has transmitted the gene to the grandson.